is, uh, this is my daughter Madeline. She oh. wanted to. You know, she's an enormous fan of WandaVision, and so uh, this, this got me a lot of uh, credibility as not, not quite such a, a nerdy father uh, that, that I got to speak to. Thank you for that. I, I got a little of the same credibility that you did. So. <laughs> Fred, I, I, just for those of us who happen to be Marvel fans, me, uh, <laughs> would you mind talking a little bit about WandaVision and how that was, and, and how that you're in the Marvel Universe now. How is that different from doing like a regular movie or TV show? Yes, I'd be happy to talk about it. Uh, it was an interesting experience. I, I had been in New York. Uh, I was making a film that came out uh, this past year um, called Shiva Baby, which was made by a young woman who was just out of NYU, very young, 22-year-old young girl. And that was another situation where I didn't know her. I didn't know anything about her. But I, I really liked the script. It was a very strong script. And it so happened that the woman who played my wife in it, Polly Draper and I, uh, went to drama school together. I've known her for 45 years, so it was a chance to do something with somebody that's been my friend for you know a long time. So anyway, I did that movie, uh, but that movie was, like many movies that I've done, was done really on a shoestring. I mean, when I say a shoestring, I mean, really. Their biggest line item, the biggest number one charge in that whole film was flying me business class from LA to New York. That's absolutely true. More than they spent on film stock, more than anything. Um, you know, the, the, the craft service table was a thing of like saltines, half a thing of saltines with a thing of peanut butter, plastic spoon in it. So I, but that's great. I mean, that's, you know, that, that, that there's a lot of uh, joy to be had in, in often in well conceived, well written things that don't have a lot of money. Anyway, while I was making that in New York, I got a call from my manager who said, uh, you know, I've been working on this Marvel thing for you. I said, yes. She said, well, it's, uh, it's all coming to fruition. And uh, they would like you to go, all the Marvel stuff is shot in, in uh, Atlanta. Uh, they, ha they kind of have their own studio. They have Pinewood, like Pinewood in England, but they, they control all the Pinewood studios. Uh, it's, very big operation. So she said, um, they want you to go right there directly to Atlanta. And uh, you, you are gonna have to be measured for all your clothes and all this stuff. And I said, okay, great. And it was a great, it was a very interesting, you know, script I thought and a great, great opportunity. And, but I, I went directly from New York where literally, uh, you know, they would have to turn the air conditioning off because the power bills were too expensive at a certain point, you know, it got really, too expensive for them uh, to flying to Atlanta, where every day at uh, about eleven thirty they would bring out lobster. <laughs> every <laughs> day. Every day. Well, every weekday, uh, and all the clothes were were handmade in Italy, and the sets. The set uh, was bigger than any house I've ever lived in, and you know, the, the degree of money. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, it's all up there on the screen. It's not like they're wasting money. But it was, it was such a, an interesting uh, juxtaposition to go from this little, uh, you know, everything held together with gaffer's tape kind of production to the Marvel, which is, the, you know, it's all, it's all about the, the largeness of it in every, in every respect. So that was a very interesting um, experience. And... Um, I, you know, I, I don't, I'm not particularly a fan of uh, comic book movies, but I don't dislike them either. And um, everybody tries very hard. Uh, it's interesting, we were talking about this the other day um, in the last one of these that I participated in, in Linda Pearls. Um, you know, people are very often very jaundiced about Hollywood and uh, they kind of think Hollywood is synonymous with corruption and uh, you know, misleading people and that kind of thing. And in my experience, um, the vast majority of people that work in Hollywood actually care very deeply about the quality of the work that they produce. Uh, they really want it to be good. Um, I don't just mean to make a profit, but I mean, they actually are concerned that it be as good as it can be and the actors who are tasked with making these characters that are, you know, essentially uh, 
comic book characters more interesting, more human, more more textured, you know, take that very seriously. And so do the directors and the writers. So Marvel, I think, to a significant degree, has been successful at that without disappointing, uh, you know, the 17-year-old or 16-year-old fan base of people that want to see lots of action, lots of fighting, lots of all that stuff. The 60-something the some, the fan base, Fred. Yes, exactly. The 60-something fan base. <laughs>